This is a story of six furry alien filmmakers who happen to look like puppets, doing whatever they can to help in their community. Okay, Bogart, your first BIM Community Outreach thank you note, and action. Dear Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland, I would like to thank you on behalf of Believe in Me for all the hard work you do for the furry things here in Greater Portland, Maine. My fellow BIMs and I recently discovered your organization when our documentary film about adoption hit a little snag. So, anyway. How about we start off by you listing all the wonderful things that you bring to our lives as an adopted pet? You know, anything that comes to mind. Anything at all. Unfortunately, as it turned out, our second source wasn't too helpful either. Picasso, unlike your brother, how would you share with us some of the wonderful things you bring as a member of this family? Anything? Anything come to mind? <sighs> okay, I think that we're missing the point here. I think that it's time for plan B. So Cam and I placed a call to our favorite Earth consultant, Lacey, who rushed right over to help us with our documentary film about adoption. We told her we wanted to learn all about the other furry things that people adopted on planet Earth. She loved our script, but mentioned she may have a few minor concerns. As always, I reminded Lacey the best place to figure things out in this world was along the way, and she agreed completely. And then we were off in search of extraordinary people adopting furry and four-legged things. Thankfully, Lacey said you could find extraordinary people helping four-legged things right around the corner in Greater Portland. you're going about this all wrong. If you want to learn about the positive things animal adoption can do for people and families, there's a place you can go that specializes in adopting animals right here in Greater Portland. Really? What place, Lacey? The Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland, Bogart. They're an adoption center where humans can meet adoptable pets. They can tell you all about adopting animals who are looking for new homes. The Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland's Pet Adoption Center? Wow, Lacey! If you can't adopt furry aliens from space, this looks like a fantastic second option. And we arrived at the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland to happy barking and smiles. Now, I had my doubts about our missing dog and cat interview. But after Lacey reminded me animals don't talk, she promised me. When it came to adopting furry things on planet Earth, we were about to talk to the experts. And she was right. All right, Bogart. If you have any questions about adopting furry animals that were born here on planet Earth, this is the place. Welcome to the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland. You must be Bogart. Yes. In these? Uh, I mean those. Those are my friends. Get it! Um, the bins. Um, well, somewhere. Now, before we go any further, I wish to disclaim that in public situations, neither Believe in Me, LLC, nor Miss Lacey Alcott, or Mr. Bogart Bim, may be held responsible for the actions of a one Mr. Hey, Brand Bogart, you got the part about the me yet? The actions of a one Mr. Brando Bim in any way, shape, or form. I hear you have some questions about adoption you could use our help with. How could you tell I needed help? It's our job to know when an animal needs help. Ah. Animals have different Let's personalities stop. just like people, and we do our best to find good homes for animals in need. We also offer programs and services to the community mm -hmm. that Ooh. teach humans yes. responsible mm -hmm. pet ownership. So hopefully, mm -hmm. less animals end up in shelters like ah. ours. Wow! You teach other people like me about animal adoption too? Wow, you actually said that out loud. Hey. Er, uh, um, well, um, maybe other people who don't have fur is a better question. <laughs> There's more to helping animals than just adoption, Bogart. The Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland believes that kindness to all animals matters. And we do whatever we can to help educate people about how to properly care for and interact with animals in their community. Fantastic! I wish the dogs and cats I've been interviewing all day knew as much about animal adoption as you. Ooh, 
They had bunnies? Yep. Rabbits, too. Believe it or not, Bogart, the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland deals with many kinds of animals, not just dogs and cats. Small animals need homes just as much as our cat and dog friends do. Oh, that's an excellent point. <laughs> Come on, I'll give you a quick tour. Which was lovely, but then Brando happened. Hey, I happened way before that. And as we toured your pet adoption center, we learned about how hard you work at fundraising. So you can expand your services and facilities to help as many animals as possible. And then I asked, well, I just have one last question. How do so many animals wind up here? I mean, they're such lovely creatures. Well, Bogart, often the reason an animal ends up here is because its owner underestimates just how much hard work furry things can be. We're just curious is all. As cute as an animal may be, pet ownership is a 365-day-a-year, 24-hour-a-day commitment. Oh, well, I never thought of it that way. And many pet owners don't realize that the initial cost of an animal is just the beginning of the care it will need over its lifetime. That's very true. People often bring us their animals because they simply can't afford to care for them anymore. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get me out of that mess, anyway? Well, I ran through my notes while Monroe ran to get Rigby for help. It was posing as a volunteer in case you got us in trouble. Yeah, so what was I supposed to learn from all of this anyway? Four key things. You ready? <sighs> Did you just listen? Number one, showing kindness and understanding to all animals matters. That's what I've been saying. And number two, the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland offers a variety of educational programs and services to the community. Ooh. Number three, there are many ways to help animals beyond adoption, like being a good animal citizen or volunteering at a nearby shelter. Oh, that's my favorite. Me too. And finally, number four, owning a pet is a big commitment, and it's important to understand how much work a furry thing can be. There are a couple other things I wrote down, but the, why is that in your mouth? Dude. Uh, yeah. I had Rigby pick one up for me. Honestly, I kind of missed it. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. And then it was time so, to say goodbye. So, any other questions I can answer for you about adoption, Bogart? Now, I would have thanked you for all you do for the animals of Greater Portland at the time, but you have met my older brother, Brando. You're killing us, dude. Um, let's see. Now, now we should probably go. Hey, I can explain. Jeez, being adopted sure would be sweet. So, Bogart, what amazing Earth cause will the Bims tackle next? I don't know, Lace. We'll just have to wait and see. So thank you again for all you do for the furry things of Greater Portland, Maine. Ah, Hemingway, Picasso, I am not a true toy. We truly appreciate you and your volunteers Hemingway, for Hemingway, your hard work. Yeah. We will return the fleet caller at Lacey's earliest convenience. Belief and thanks Help, to the Bims. Bogart, they got me again. Stop stealing your toys. <laughs>